Yeah. It's Crusader Kings. Yeah, if I control Crusader Kings, I would want Jesus Toad and Top Bog Spoff. Welcome back to the adventures of King Jesus the Brilliant of Gogasos. Last episode, we got up to all sorts of shenanigans over in Valeria. Holy shit, we actually have the option to forge Bloodline now. Is it 5,000 prestige you need to form? I thought it was 4,000 because I did cancel it very briefly to see if we could do it, and apparently we couldn't. Um, that's great. Okay, so we can finally forge Bloodline, which is fantastic. That's something, that's a, it's a really good goal for this episode. Not only that, we have the campaign to do in the Summer Isles, so I can turn it into the Isles of Patreon and have you guys fight to the death in them, because I think that'll be quite fun. Plus, it gives us a means of testing out our wildfire when eventually we do get to that one as well. Not only that, we have to make sure our heir and uh, hopefully future successor, Prince Balasso, or, or what is soon to be our heir, takes over, is in line. Because right now, the only way we could have saved the game and the dynasty was to flip over to uh, Agnetic Cognatic, which meant all these women could inherit. And it now means we have to find a way to get rid of them. A lot of you said disinherit rather than murder, which is a fair point, not something I considered. The only downside to that is we would have to worry about a lot of adventurer threats. All of these people would have claims on our land, especially as a lot of them are our daughters and nieces as well. So they've all got claims on uh, the kingdom of Gokasos, for example, and everything else that we own. So I'm going to kill them where we can. Just because apparently taking the family focus can get rid of Kinslayer, because this dude was a Kinslayer to begin with, if you remember. Um, when we killed... Yeah, so, so we beheaded uh, Bode Toad, and I think we also killed... Yeah, we beheaded Low Toad as well. So we can get rid of the Kinslayer by taking the family focus, which we've got now to try and have another son. Now, I've just, just occurred to me, I flipped to that before we finished the scholarship tree, so we actually aren't a mystic yet. Whoops, that was a big mistake. So like I was saying, we definitely don't want to change to family focus until we finished off scholarship so that we can join the Alchemist Guild. <clears throat> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I might still kill off a few where we can. If we say get ill beyond being just wounded, if we become infirm or something, then we'll start the mass sort of disinheritance. But as it stands right now, I'm kind of happy doing a few murderings seeing as everybody wants them dead anyway. Because I think they're still classic. Oh no, they are weird. I said she's a lunatic. Mm. Maybe we should disinherit them and then kill them off after they're disinherited. So that way we're reducing adventure of threats and guaranteeing it. Yeah, I don't see I don't really see the downside to that. Obviously the downside are they could declare us a tyrant. They can uh well generally they'll have a lot of murder plots to throw out against us because they'll start to hate us at that stage. We can give it a go. Fuck it. Let's see how it goes then. So let's disinherit everyone. Uh become oh shit, why can't we disinherit you? Have we gotta wait for that first one to go through. No, we just can't disinherit her. Okay, that was a great idea, guys, uh, except for the fact that it's now completely fucked up. Okay, fine, so we'll start the plot on the next person then. My niece, why can't we disinherit you? It's because you're out of the kingdom, maybe? Um, she is heir to the kingdom of Gogasos. So she's at court in Hecon, Hecon. Yeah, she's over in Pharos. Maybe that's something to do with it. Damn it, that's annoying. Okay, so we'll try and kill you off then. 34%. Oh, Jesus, this is so bad. Um, what if we raid there? What if we raid? Could we maybe take our prisoner? I don't know if it's entirely possible. We could always give it a go. Um, in the meantime, I did want to kind of discuss that I would like to bring an end to the Top Bog series. Because this is very much like a series of Top Bog, right? You've got, you've got all of this lands that you've conquered over here. And then we're sort of carrying on the Gogasos. We've met him in this series a few times. We're still very, very close to what he's been up to here. I would like to see an end to the series. Maybe we could play as a character for the next one. Go for like a trilogy and play as a character who actually brings an end to Top Bog and reseals the provinces. I do want to play in Valeria. I would like to play as someone under the law, but let me know what you think of that idea. I'm thinking maybe like a Valerian um, sort of king rises up and overthrows and seals the labyrinth thing. Like that would be a nice end to the story. Again, there's, there's a lot of spitballing. If you guys got any ideas for that, let me know. Um, I have been looking around and there are very few other total conversion mods ready for Holy Fury yet, so I haven't really got any other plans outside of just carrying on with the Game of Thrones mod because you guys seem to like that and I definitely enjoy playing it. So I'd really like to do something like that where we, we play as this upstart Valyrian guy and, and try and take out Top Bog. That would be a massively difficult campaign though. Might be way too difficult in hindsight, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, what the fuck am I supposed to do here then? Obviously we'll try and forge the bloodline. How are we looking at that? Oh, win 15 foreign wars. We've already done it. Interesting. I didn't realize there was like a background ticker. I thought it was when you, um, there's obviously some background variables there going on keeping track throughout this character's life. I thought it was from when you started trying to forge the bloodline, but that works out incredibly well for us because now we should be prompted to get 
there we go. Holy shit, that was it. Right on cue. After my most recent victory, I've reunited my, my most trusted commanders to discuss our future military campaigns. Through my skill and dedication, I've earned the loyalty of my armies and immortalized my name as one of the great conquerors of our time. One who emerged triumphant from the countless battles. I mean, it's kind of true, right? The reformed the religion. He's gone to war with many, many different people, like Karth, obviously, sort of top hog, kind of. Um, most of Gogasos as well, or I should say most of Sothorias here we've united. We've overthrown many of the pirate lords and sort of unified control under this religion. I think, what do we want to go for? We can get the Bloodhound, uh, Bloodline giving us leading the center of level reinforcement rate, and increase the chance of looting artifacts, which sounds incredible. Or, we get the Warrior Philosopher, gain the trait Diligent, become the founder of a Bloodline, giving movement speed plus 15%. I like the idea of this one. Chris, the chance of looting artifacts. That sounds way more suitable for the campaign, right? The Corsair King. Obviously, he would know about stealing. Let's go for that one. Greater battles. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Await us yet. The Warlord from Gogasos. Scarcely any ruler bordering Gogasos sleeps well at night. All, none of them. There are no, there are none that border Gogasos, but that's fine. Tormented by dreams of conquest of their terrible neighbor. King Jesus has carved a blood-soaked path through the lands of Gogasos. Earning the fame of ruthless and fearsome warrior. None is safe from his reach, and it's hard to say if his thirst for conquest will ever be satisfied. A cunning and relentless commander, he has overseen countless victories on the battlefield and acquired many immortal glory for himself and as well as his descendants. War and glory. Getting the founder of a bloodline. It's a real shame Cho didn't uh, found his own bloodline there, but that's kind of cool nonetheless. Increased chance of looting artifacts. Big fan of that one. There we go. Right, so now we've got access to... Uh, I assume that's just the same as the society one, right? Um, level 3 of your sort of standard, if we go to the Dothraki Riders, I assume they've got it. Um, or oh, level 2, is it? Yeah, Reaver. So when leading armies, I assume it's just identical to that Reaver power there. That's cool nonetheless. Leading the center, also great for any martial characters that we're going to play as. Which, in, in theory, will be all of them. Um, what other bonus do we get? Oh, Levy Reinforcement Rate. Obviously pretty good as well. Seeing as we control, what, like 5 castles and we're constantly going to be out there raiding. That worked out really, really well for us. I feel, feel like that's one of the better bloodlines we could have got. Speaking of which, we've been at peace for too long. So let's pick a new ambition. Um, spam around by conquest. That seems appropriate. And I think let's actually do exactly that. Pirate invasion of Golden Head. I don't think I need to check whether or not this dude has more troops. You know what? I might just in case. 500 troops. I think we'll be absolutely fine here. Let's give it a go. I want to try and take the whole of the Summer Isles and, like I said, dish it out to all of the uh, patron houses here. And they can have a lot of battle royale. And we can laugh from the safety of uh, an ocean away. So, team, let's get ourselves squatted up here. I'd really actually like to spend the gold just hiring, like, could we buy, like, Unsullied or something? That seems like a, a call a Grand Invasion Council. What? Liege Loyalist Faction has a strength of 100%. All Well, that would never happen. All high-ranking vassals have a positive opinion of King Jesus. Either King Tier, High Lord Tier, Council Patrician, or Top 3 Powerful Vassals. Holy shit, that's awesome. Let's do that as soon as possible. Can I buy... Yeah, like I was saying, can I buy some Unsullied or something? Apparently not even in the least at all. Um... Okay, fair enough. I only wanted to have a standing army so that we didn't have to keep raising and lowering our troops because we've got to, you know, raise them, get them all on boats, make sure we've got enough boats to actually pick everyone up, especially from Gogasos, move them over here, fight the war, put them down again, pick them all up, and obviously it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. I'd rather just have one long campaign going, like, island to island rather than going back and forth. So if we could hire just a more of a, a, a standing army... Do we have, like, a holy order? I didn't make any holy order, so obviously not. Um, we could hire... Mercenaries, it seems like a waste of the gold. We were given 9,000 gold, and apparently that's all completely disappeared. What the fuck did I spend that on? How have I lost so much gold so quickly? Obviously, by the time we've conquered a fair amount of these provinces, we won't need to worry about doing that so much, because they'll provide their own troops. Um, but for now, maybe there's a better way to do this. It doesn't matter too much. I, I mean, I could just not be a massive, lazy pirate shit. All right. Uh, sorry, do I actually want to get on the boats? I feel like I pressed that button five times now. Head over. This will be take no time at all unless all of their friends join them. And I absolutely burn down that trade post. Thank you very much. 30 prestige. Is that all? <gasps> Mystic? Why did we not become Mystic from that? Um, is it because we're already a cartographer? Well, that's a big shit. Okay. Um, Devote Keeper of Outer out Secrets or Hide and Dedicate the most... most oh, well, we get nothing or Weird Scholar. Well, that seems a bit shit. Okay, we didn't get the trade Mystic because apparently we've already got Cartographer, which count cancels it out. A little bit of a shame there. Because um, I feel like I've basically just wasted the past however many years and however much gold on that. Okay, never mind then. We'll go for the Family Focus. Give them a little extra health. Also give them a chance at some more kids here or there. That works out pretty well for us, I think. 
There we go. That's what I was concerned about. Everybody else and their mother in all of the Summer Islands have joined in. Oh, God. Speaking of which, there's even more of them. Jesus. Okay, let's wrap this up quickly. Otherwise, this could get out of hand. Okay, there is a lot of them. They are massing. All right. Merge together. Um, now, what we want to do is hopefully take this out before they start heading over to Gogasos. Because there is a lot of troops here. Uh, despite how it looks, there is a, quite a hefty amount if we were to add them all up. Which I'm obviously not going to do because that would be... Oh my god, I thought I just put down the entire army then. Okay, we're fine. Jesus, take the wheel with your with your new center bloodline, center leading bloodline. I think that'll help out a lot. Right, torch it. Was this dude a pirate lord? Uh, a, an old school. Yeah, he is. Okay. Um, we're his heir, so if he were to die, we can inherit that back. That's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to inherit back all of the traditional, um, the old, out of date corsair, and replace it with our own sort of brand of corsair. Um, you know, rulers, so that they like us a lot more, but also so that the Ram doesn't keep breaking apart whenever they die. Ziri is pregnant again. Excellent. Thank you, Ziri. Hey, Ziri. That's pretty cool. Right, move over. And let's get these boys all merged together. And this won't take too long. I don't think this will be as difficult as I thought it will be in hindsight, because I don't really have the boats for um, launching a counterattack. And now I'm going to check. Oh, shit. They actually do. Well, again, it's not enough to uh, really worry about there. They're not going to be able to siege that place down. What's a fall level our capital out of interest? I haven't really considered. I imagine it's... Yeah, that's fairly impressive. Fort level of 9, uh, because we have so many different forts and castles. Uh, well, in, in the sense that we've got, you know, so many different holdings, I should say. And then, of course, we've got 8,000 defenders as well. So, those boys would have to mount quite a force. The AI is not going to be that organized anyway, let alone across multiple different rulers here. They, they'll never be able to unify that well. Right, 81%. This is great. This should take... Oh, God. <gasps> no. Knee. Apparently cracked under stress. Our, our doctor, our mystic, our physician... Shit, how unfortunate. Morale of army is minus 10% because he's apparently shit. Well, that's understandable, really. There is, is going to be a lot of injured troops here. During the siege of Ta Ta Tamarino, the enemy Tamarino fleet, led by Lord Delambar's flagship, Lord Denim... Incredible. Lord Delambar did battle with our fleet. So people have been asking for uh, naval combat in CK2 for so long. Here you go. It's finally here. Uh, Event-driven naval combat system. I love it. Right. 93... What do you mean 93%? Oh, Jesus. They actually have unified far more than I gave them credit for. Okay, team. Um, man, they actually outnumber us now. Not by much, but they, they do. And if we're doing a naval landing into our own territory... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? What about you? Why have you not? Uh... Now he's taking control? Uh... Oh, that was my daughter and the rest are distant... No, I was going to say they're all distant relatives. That's not true at all. Okay, someone can explain that to me in the comments because I have no fucking clue what that is. Seniority, Agnetic Cognatic, and now my... Apparently, my zero-year-old son has taken top position despite the fact that no less than five seconds ago, even though other family members have died in the meantime, he was he was at the bottom of the tree. Someone can explain that to me. Um, and it's not going to be... It's I, I have no idea. I have no idea why that has happened. And you absolutely get no funeral either because I didn't even know you existed, to be honest with you. This is a risky boy. We're attacking into superior numbers. Oh, they could die to attrition though. Hang on. Let them sit there. Oh, fuck off. Seriously? That's not Red Death, you liar. That's the flu. That is just a plain old flu. You have me worried then. There we go, he's doing much better. Thank you, I appreciate that successful treatment. Yeah, the kid's gonna be fine. Red death. Bring me these lies. Even I could tell the difference. Hey, there we go, he's dead. Even I could tell the difference between flu and red death, you big fool. Right, okay, so we want to take... Uh, is that the citrus coves? The cit Oh, right, the citrus coves. There we go. And we've got Coney Forest as well. Coney 2012 Forest there. We won't worry about that one too much. Let's just give this away to um, a loyal retainer. Uh, a lovely My Religion, My Culture vassal. Who is preferably a man... Who is preferably unlanded. Uh, ruler, no. You'll do? Oh, yeah, you're really good. Genius, charitable, patient, content. He's like the perfect vassal. Look at this man. Uh, you, my friend, get citrus coves. And you, my friend, get tall trees down. There we go. Try and sp spread the good word there by giving uh, all of this to... Oh, shit. Why are you... Oh, my God. Was that capital... A city? Oh, tall, tall trees, town. Oh, that's self explanatory in hindsight there, Ringo. All right, let's let these boys die, and then we'll move in afterwards. The Red Death that has broken out in Yin. We never really did much with Yin, did we? I suppose it's still a colony, isn't it? Yeah, they're all... Oh, that one is progressing. So they aren't completely butchering this forest there. Both of these two have progressed quite far. Um, Gomorosh and Yin, unsurprisingly the more isolated, the inner Sotherossi lands here, are not doing nearly as well. Um, same with Basilisk Point. We could have held them, but again, it's probably just easier to let the AI do it. If they go into room, we can just rebuild them again. It's not a big deal. Plus, they seem to be doing a good job anyway, so I can't complain too much. A daughter. That's useless. You are not a son. We're going to call you, um, 
What names? Oh my god, it feels like ages since I've given them a, a, a reasonable name. Um, we're gonna call you Jumping. Why Jumping? Because Toads jump. Well, Toads don't really jump, do they? Oh god, Brindleman. Hey, there we go. Finally, they show up. But all, uh, all after all this time, after ages, the Brindleman natives they claim the rightful lands being unjustly sieged. There we go. All right. Um, six hundred men. That's all you could. That's all you got. I was kind of hoping for some events. Apparently, I was promised Wivens and, and Brindamen revolts and dark magic, and all they sent is fucking 600 dudes. All right, fine. Let's move in and crush these boys, because I feel like we can probably do it. Prosperity of location has improved. Thank you. Boom. That was close. That could have ended a lot, lot worse. Right, let's get rid of you, then. And I think we will fight these wars, like I said before. We'll just raise a massive troop, mainly because if we have loads of mercenaries, it means they don't get a chance to join one another's wars, because we can probably have the war ended before... Uh, they get a chance to actually accept, you know, the call to arms or whatever. Right, let's put down this. Here we go. The, the, the horrors of Sotheros. 600 men. Oh, God. They are under siege. <laughs> a little underwhelming, to be honest with you. Never shall we forget the day when the horrors of the jungle came for us. Um, yeah, no, that was that was really it. A little bit, a little bit disappointing. Boom. Hello. Um, what if we sell them into slavery? That was not legal. Oh, shit. You're not wrong. I forgot they did that. Wait, now it is. You have chosen to disregard a treaty that was enforced by a foreign country prohibiting slavery in Gogasos. Legalizing the practice once again. Foreign powers where slavery is illegal will see this as a provocation and may launch invasions to liberate your realm from slavery. Bring it. Honestly, this time, try it, my friend. Done. 15 gold. Was it worth pissing off the Iron Throne for 15 gold? No. But it's about taking sovereignty. It's about taking control of our borders. It's about, um, uh, uh, other stuff. You know, it's, look, I just want the gold, to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, 15 gold might well, not seem like much, but that will add up. And, you know, it really did start to build the round. Oh, God, don't don't draw boxes. Do not draw boxes. That apparently crashes the game. Definitely wasn't my uh, extremely right-wing rant there. Ooh, that could be bad. Holy shit. Uh, King Jesus the Bloodhound might be on his way out here. Thank God we actually got that sun there in time. Thank God, thanks to some horrendous game error, we have a valid heir. How old is he? He's one years old. I don't want to play as a one year old child trying to bring together a realm of half pirates, half um, crazy blood pirates, and half people who hate us. This is bad. Okay. Um, right, so the plan is do we have another alright, half decent heir? Maybe one of our daughters? I hate to say it. Um, no, no, we really don't because, of course, I paid no attention. I didn't even bother naming them. Look at this one Sympathy for the Westerosi gods, and she's a traditional corsair, and she's a lunatic. Absolutely not. What else have we got? Um, ha oh, she's not terrible. Stressed, gardener. I'm sorry, stressed. Jesus, yeah. No, that's a good trait. Stressed. Stru shrewd. Wow. Shrewd, gardener, diligent, family person, humble, all not terrible traits. Um, Danella, traditional pirate again. Christ, we've got slim pickings today, team. There's one thing I really didn't do well with this character was air management. Well, we did okay with our airs, uh, but they were unfortunately stolen from us, like Chow Toad. Was a genius, as I recall. Died of dysentery. Then, of course, our other son, Drown Toad, died of everything. Man, that's such a shame. Oh, and we've inherited the citrus coves again. Food poisoning. Seems like everybody dies so much more frequently than this from disease. I mean, just look at the screen and how many have died from diseases there. It seems just so much more frequent. And I imagine, yeah, so did our ex-wife as well. Seems so odd. Um, right, okay, pick a new ambition. Let's go for... Spent around by conquest. I mean, it's just 200 prestige per war, and that's a reusable cast of spell. I um, make a friend. We gain the trait popular for five years, which gives us diplomacy and general opinion, which isn't bad. I'm gonna go for expand the round by conquest. Fuck it, let's go for score. One thing I've never done in CK2 before. Um, and let's give away this shit as well. What have we got then? So citrus coves again. I'm just gonna dish this out to any old fucker that that really wants it. Um, man, I didn't set up a slot for this really. So we'll go my religion. Uh, my culture, ruler, no, men, and save that as filter one. I don't, I don't like it starts at zero. What sort of a race shit is this? Harono, you, my friend, get the citrus coves. There you go, my friend. Uh, enjoy that one. Everybody else has had it before you has died horribly, so maybe don't enjoy it too much, eh? And like I said, let's hire mercenaries and get these wars done very, very quickly and easily with those boys instead. All right, total strength of some mercenaries. 3,000 men, cost six gold per month. We're currently making five gold per month, so if we hire them, uh, we can keep around for... Uh, literally hundreds and hundreds and thousands of months, um, because we'll be minus one gold, so we can keep them both up for, uh, 2,206 months, which is quite a lot. I'm gonna hire another one as well, just because I feel like we can afford it at this stage. Right, so 5,000 men on top of the... What happened to the other boys that we hired? 
We got six thousand hides somewhere. Where, where are the other ones? What the fuck are you boys doing out there? Get out. Um, what are you boys doing? Get out. Uh, Captain. That's a Gogasos the army, but when I tried to put them down, they apparently weren't hired troops. What is going on with that? Anyway, we'll hire some more, because obviously we've got the gold for it, so why the hell not? 8,000 men, I think, is more than enough to conserve and save some money. We'll hire vassal boats, or we'll raise vassal boats, I should say. Because we reform the religion to be aggressive, I don't think they give a shit if we have their boats raised. Um, we need a couple more, if you guys don't mind. Oh, we've got loads over in uh, Citrus Coves. It's all those oranges. Right, come over, team. Let's take them all over, and again, we should be able to... Uh, chain wars together, basically, repeatedly, without having to put down troops and raise them again. This is going to be consistent warfare. Take everything, form the empire of Jesus, and then, who knows? Who knows where this can fit? Maybe we could leave it there for Jesus and move on to our next and probably final character in Game of Thrones. Your kinswoman, Galata Toad, has died. Excellent. I don't know who she is. Um, oh, we disinherited her. Yeah, no, that's good. We'll do nothing for now. And I assume my son is still in line. Seeing as apparently a death can shuffle the entire inheritance. Yeah, we're good. All right. Um, my my daughter. I don't care. She'll, she'll be another one gone. Oh, God. More Basilisk Point Rebels. Hello. How are you doing? Man, look at the fucking earrings on that, dude. Those are cool. Um, currently in Basilisk Point. And exactly a good reason to keep some troops behind here is that we can just immediately raise and kill anybody who dares stand against Jesus. Right. Um... 700 men. Yeah, that'll probably do it, eh? That'll probably do it. Hooray! That was very lucky. Right, troops back down. And we are good. Well done, team. So, more to the point. Back to the regular war. Let's just drop them off in golden... My lord. Hang on. My lord. Begins a note from my justicia. Just... Just... Uh, justicia. Justicia. Lord Jamian. The writing of your manuscript has come to a halt. Our eldest scholar and most experienced scribe has passed away. Um, great. Funding is not an issue. Have some 20 gold. What... That money's going down a lot quicker than I was promised. We had like 2,200 gold a second ago. Now we're at 1,633. What? Oh, to be fair, you'd have to pay the upfront cost, genius. As me thinking that they're only charging us per month rather than not, you know, having the upfront cost. We should be still good, right? Put those boys down. Let's see if we can't make ourselves a little bit more gold to counteract these mercenaries somewhat. A lot of you have been recommended trade posts, but unfortunately there's not really much we can build in the way of trade posts because we're not on trade route here. Um, let's just double check our trade routes. Yeah, no, we, we can't do shit with that, unfortunately. Um, what about in our provinces we can build the gold mines as well? Those give a ridiculous amount of tax. We'll try and build those as and where we can. If it really gets sticky, we just take out some gold, but I don't think that's necessary. Or we can just go raiding with our regular troops while the mercenaries do the dirty work for us. That could work as well. Like I said, gold mines everywhere. Um... What have we got here? Anything that brings in a good amount of tax. Economic infrastructure, not terrible. Obviously, the castle towns I've nerfed into the ground because they were a little bit OP. Yeah, you know what? We'll just stick with the gold mines. I want to keep plenty in reserve for these mercenaries. So, next war. Prince Jolhonar, the eagle. Uh, more like Prince Jolhonar, the... I'm going to take all your land. That wasn't very good. Right. 21% <laughs> apparently from a single battle there. That's incredible. Okay, we shall crush them too. I can see this is going to get a little bit, uh, a little bit slow, having that pop up every single time. But that's fine. And we will, of course, take the wheel here because we are unbelievably powerful. For a, how old is he now? For a 66-year-old man and his wife to be leading armies together. That's kind of nice. It's very poetic. Um, but for a 66-year-old man to have 28 marshals still, that's massively impressive. What's that all coming from? Uh, base eight, brilliant commander, strong genius, skill fighter, brave, zealous, wrath. Oh, Roth as well. The Boat Titan gives a plus one. If he wasn't infected, man, this dude would have like 34 Marshall. Um, have we seek treatment for illness at all? Why do I get the feeling our Marshall... Oh, no, no, we've still got a Mace. The Court Position Knee. Um, welcome aboard, and you'll do as well. Weird, he's just not treating us at all. I guess you can't. I guess it's just an infection, right? Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. So, uh, do I want to assault this one down? Absolutely, I do. My wife is gone. Oh, because we put her on the council. Understandable. I do want to sell this one down. Fuck it. Let's give it a go. Nice. Row 2. The whole Row 2 forest, apparently. Really. Transfer Row 2 forest. That seems like a fair amount to transfer to our treasury. What actually is that, though? It better not be a book. Oh, it's a, it's a fuck, another fucking boat. We keep stealing people's boats. We don't need any more boats. I've got more boats than I do people at this stage. Right. Let's quickly bash these down. I might turn off the auto save as well because it's going to get goddamn annoying popping up every 30 seconds. Trying to siege. <gasps> Shocking news, your grace. Your first wife was discovered using moon tea to get rid of a pregnancy. Cowardly infanticide. How dare she? That is dishonorable. The family is running out and you're like, I've got one good son. Are you trying to kill? Right, that's it. Uh, call her for trial. By which I mean, call her for trial. And hopefully, 
it will go in our favor and we can execute her horribly. What? Innocent? How can she be innocent? We know she's done it. She's been exposed for the terrible crime and now we've got to release her because she's innocent. Unbelievable. This is America. I won't stand for this. Took her in prison again. Can I do that? This is America. Oh, she's left the court. She fled court. You know, that's probably for the best. Get out of here. Fuck off. Divorce her. Get out. She can't believe she took all my gold as well. This is America. I was spent highly to get... No, no, no. No one gets educated. Like I said many, many times. This is America. Right. Head south. Crush these troops and that should be it. I think this war will be done at that stage. 87% really? You, you're making me carry on. Alright, well, that's that's fine. I don't I don't really mind too much. It's not like... I mean, they're mercenaries. They'll reinforce anyway. We can always just sit around for five minutes if the troops get too low. There we go. Right, problem solved. Thank you very much. You're done, my friend. I'm going to make some changes quickly so we can speed things up. It just occurred to me we're vassalizing all these dudes. That could be a problem. I might have to go on a, like a mass revoke spray at some stage and go full tyrant mode again. I hate them to do that, but it's, it's basically one of the easiest ways around it, unfortunately. Right, Parrot Bay, you're next on my list. Um, let's get the troops into position. What of an epidemic? Oh shit, what is it? Uh, the Great Sickness. Right, okay, so this is just, uh, the, the plague, basically, it's a bubonic plague. Um, uh, my courtier, Lady Gala Greyjoy, has expressed a desire to get married. That's very convenient, uh, because your boy, Jesus, is, uh, willing and able. Promised marriage, there we go. Hello, and we'll send her a gift as well. Now, she's got a bloodline, which is pretty great. Can that be inherited? Oh, matrilineal transfer, okay, fair enough. Bastards cannot inherit. Bloodline active. Grants traditional claim on the Kingdom of the Iron Islands. So we could have married her off matrilineally to um, some descendant and started trying to farm up these bloodlines. That could work. Uh, why don't we do that? See if she's got some... Hang on. Now these grant traditional claims. Do you think it would be possible to farm up these bloodlines via like matrilineal marriages? It, like inviting these people... Because she's apparently turned apart court anyway. So finding some random like male Greyjoy. Not in line to anything. Um, invite him over. Marrying him off matrilineally to a daughter, playing as that kid, and then just pushing claims on. How many bloodlines can you farm up at once? Because over the course of seven generations, that'd be a really fun playthrough. Like playing Essos, getting people over, and then taking all seven kingdoms via bloodline inheritance. That would be pretty messed up. I'm not sure how long these bloodlines last for, because I don't know a huge amount about it, to be honest with you. But that could be kind of, uh, that could be kind of fun. Right, Sweet Lotus. No, we're going for Parrot Bay, because of their many natural resources, such as parrots. I don't know where I was really going with that one. Right, I'm going to take it either way because, you know, that's just my, my current headcanon, my current goal. So we're going to, um, fuck, seriously, Summer Island Revolt. Well, I mean, it'll keep them crushed down if we actually defeat the revolt. So, oh, nice. Hey, that worked out pretty damn well. So defeating the revolt will actually, actually stop more revolts going in the future. It means we can obviously declare these wars a bit more comfortably um, whilst not having to worry about those boys showing off. Uh, you got any more of those boats, though? Nine boats is probably, oh, my <laughs> Fucking God. Um, yeah, no, they're not really pulling any punches with that one. Okay, squad up team. I'm going to need the whole army here. Thank God we use mercenaries. Otherwise, we might not have the troops to deal with this. Uh, actually, squad up. How many men have we got? Probably not enough. Have they all got on boats? Oh, God. Okay, send them all to Gogasos. Spam around by conquest. And then once again, we will take exactly the same ambition. Win the war. That seems also appropriate. Um, get them all over to Gogasos. We'll pick everybody up and move them in one fell swoop. Um, 8,000 men. With Jesus leading the center, I think we can probably do this fairly comfortably. Merger troops, get him on there. Fucking Summer Isles are going to be the death of me here. Right, and then we'll have to go North Korea mode, I think, and, and you reunify the realm. I might have to revoke everything, though, to do that efficiently. Oh, God, what a pain. I don't like metagaming it like that, but I feel like I kind of have to so that we're not completely screwed by these constant, constant, quite large rebellions, apparently. Oh, my God, they've got like 12,000 men here. Granted, they're spread up now, so they've made our lives... They've made it basically impossible for us to lose, but that's fine. Um, get rid of you, get rid of you. Do you want to send over some backup from here, too? We should. Alright, come down here. Do nothing for now. Oh, yeah, we're going to crush them. Jesus on the center. Those boys are dead. Recombine. They are going to send all their troops... Seriously? Why are you doing this? AI, you would have such an easier time if you weren't completely fucking terrible. You guys aren't going to... No. Don't do it. God... He's had enough, please. Stop. Jesus, he's had enough. He's already dead. Alright, fine. There we go. Good, good work, team. Welcome. Um, Jesus, this is going to get me flagged. Oh, God, this is... Oh, no, it's fine. We can't. We can't. He's, he's a courtier. He's, he's a member of our realm. Yeah, okay. Whew. I can see this is going to get fun. Constant revolts. This is going to be the series from now on, isn't it? Merkub of Yeen. Welcome, Merkub of Yeen. You horrifying man. Um... 
Shit, this is going to get a real pain in the ass, but these revolts are not going to stop. Um, wait, you have Valerian Steel? Where the hell did you steal that from? Drown Shaper? What? Where the fuck did you get that, my dude? Original owner, Lord Beleron of Yin. I wonder if you found that in Yin, because there are events associated with these um, Sotherossi provinces, like I said, Wivens and Brindleman, which we've apparently not got, probably because we're living on Kokosos instead of actually, like, the Sotherossi mainland. Um... That's cool that he's got this. Oh, if he dies, though, guess inherit who inherits it. That's right. It's your boy. Top box. But no, no, no. Wait, hang on. Uh, Jesus Toad. So, if you were to horribly die, we got ourselves a Valerian Steel Sword. Suddenly, I'm... But who's this dude? Oku. <laughs> Thanks for the support, Oku. No, I, I, knew, I knew you'd be there for me in these troubling times. That episode went by so quickly and we barely made any progress at all. We, we, we got a little bit through the, the bottom island there. Man, this is going to take a while. I feel like I'm going to have to go full North Korea mode as well. Let me know what you think for the, or if you have any suggestions for the final series in what I'm calling the Top Bog Trilogy. The series that we will uh, will see the Game of Thrones out with for probably quite some time. We probably won't pick it up again for a while. So let me know what you think. If you've got any good ideas, of course, leave a comment. And I think, you know what's the best idea at all? Uh, at all? Of all? The best idea we've we've ever goddamn had. That's right. It's giving a shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible for providing us all with this glorious entertainment without which would be uh, completely goddamn impossible thanks YouTube, big shout out to Big Dick Timmy, Tom Terrier 18, Zachary Harris Arik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Loras Haydock, Sidini, Necrophilin, Asuna Kirito Facundo Vasquez, I'm the Lizard King Josh Lindin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch Pavis Presley, Logan Thorne, Spire T, Orcs Wolf Average Gamer 419, Escaping Jackson Whitman thank you for keeping the channel alive if any of you are interested, the Patreon link is below and you can get some fantastic rewards such as um a house in game of thrones on the summer islands or perhaps a name in rimworld uh another game where you can die horribly generally a lot of it tends to be you dying horribly i'm not really selling this am i uh, well more importantly you keep the channel alive uh because youtube sure as hell won't and speaking of which here are some people who've done exactly that including Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, Jimmy, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Van Ders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yoran DeVries, Dunk 2 and 7, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, Chris, Surthor the Swede, The Sage, Asaro, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, and in person, Ego Kozak, Haji Dumar, Noah Gallimore, Panther Pearl, and Alpha Scuff. These are the people keeping us going. Thank you. I, I don't know what I'm doing with this outro today. I'm, I'm like putting a lot of flourish on it. Uh, probably because I'm extremely tired. It's very late. I'm going to bed now. Thank you all for watching.